Right now on Sunrise, Vice President Pence in Minnesota today. The reason he's checking out our response to COVID-19. Another Minnesota summer tradition falling victim to the coronavirus. Back to the 50s weekend is canceled. We're tracking your reaction. Unemployment numbers have reached historic levels, but there's at least one job force that can't keep up. They were so busy in what they were doing that they uh, they had their passions but never had the time to be able to, to experience and, and move forward. I look at one career path in need of workers and how you can get involved. Then, don't let your car fall apart while you're quarantined. We look under the hood to help you prevent costly repairs. Well, we've got more rain on the way this Tuesday morning. Looks like a cooler, soggy, windy day today, but there is more sunshine in the forecast and warmer temperatures. It's Tuesday, April 28th. Care 11 Sunrise starts now. Good morning. Hey, despite what we're taught, not all heroes wear capes. And that's more obvious now than ever before. In honor of National Superhero Day, we want to know how our superhero is during this pandemic. Send us pictures or videos and a little bit about them. Just use the hashtag Sunrisers when you post. We'll share your responses in a little bit, give you some time to think about that. But first, let's check in with Sven and Alicia, hear what they have to say. They're social distancing from home. Sven, we're waking up to a little rain this morning, but any chance we'll be able to get outside sometime today? Yeah, I think you'll have a dry period this evening, but uh, middle of the day looking like the wettest period. Uh, and we are tracking some showers, even a little lightning and thunder uh, in the southern and southwestern part of the state. Uh, all of it tracking pretty much straight east, a little bit northeast. Uh, we got some of those showers down around Fairmont, Mankato, crossing the Minnesota River. And there is a little leftover lightning and thunder in some of that. But uh, in the metro, probably by about 7.30, 8 o'clock, we'll start to see these showers move in. It is going to be a cool, windy day, too. 57 right now, you can see the eastern edge of the uh, cloud cover there looking uh, far to the east a little bit of sunshine that's going to be about it for the day though temperatures will drop as clouds and rain move in uh, but yeah by about five six o'clock i think it will be uh, drier around the area all right thanks for that sven we're tracking the latest overnight in the battle against the coronavirus here are the top headlines you need to know 286 people have now died in Minnesota from the coronavirus. We're now just shy of 4,000 cases. Nearly half of those cases no longer need isolation. The Justice Department is launching a search for overbearing state and local orders. Attorney General William Barr says he would take them to court, possibly taking if the, poli if the policies go too far. President Trump is suggesting some schools could think about reopening before the end of the academic year. Minnesota, like many other states, have already decided to close campuses until the fall. Well, Minnesota is proving to be a national leader in coronavirus response. In fact, today, Vice President Mike Pence is coming to check out our groundbreaking testing strategy. Kaya Edwards joins us now live. And Kaya, what's the plan for today? Gia, good morning. Vice President Pence plans to visit Mayo Clinic in Rochester. He'll be taking a tour with Governor Walls. And you'll remember just last week, the governor and leaders from Mayo, the U of M, announced a major breakthrough in rapid widespread testing for COVID-19. This model allows for testing as many as 20,000 people per day, also allows for isolating confirmed cases and enhancing the process for tracking who has come in contact with people who have tested positive. And this is a state that's going to lead this nation and the world out of this. The plan that we put in place should allow Minnesota to be testing at a rate higher than any place else in the country and potentially the world. In addition to that tour, the vice president and the governor plan to participate in a roundtable discussion. They also plan to update the media at some point today. So check for our updates both on air and online. Yeah, for sure. But we'll be watching for that, Kai. Interesting to see how they're going to roll this all out. Thank you. Well, some sad announcements for car enthusiasts in this morning's digital dive. The Back to 50s car show that's held at the state fairgrounds is canceled this year due to the coronavirus. And it has a lot of our sunrisers sounding off this morning. Now, the annual event was scheduled to take place on June 19th through the 21st. The Minnesota Street Rod Association says the decision came down to the health and well-being of everyone. The association's statement read in part, we know this news is very disappointing and all of us feel the same, but we know that this decision is for the best. 
They're hoping this gives participants time to cancel their upcoming trip and hopefully get reimbursed for anything already booked. And it's really disappointing because this event brings in more than 12,000 hot rods and classic cars, 350 vendors, and tens of thousands of car enthusiasts to the Minnesota State Fairgrounds every single year. And for those who already paid and pre-registered for the event this year, your payment will be applied to next year's Back to the 50s weekend. Vendors will also get a refund. Now, this news didn't sit well for many of our Sunrisers. Robert here says, face it, 2020 has been canceled. Let's hope the reboot in 2021 is much better. And Petra says it's impacting her business, rent and travel. She tells us they rent every trailer they have to people who have been going to this event for years. And Eileen is offering some sort of solution, saying doing a Back to the 50s parade on Stanley Avenue could be an option as well. And we also got so many comments. It felt like every other comment in that thread was about the State Fair, which is in August. And State Fair organizers say it's too soon to tell whether or not the event will go on as planned. Again, it's 120 days away from now. But they say in the weeks to come, they'll see how this pandemic is starting to pan out and they'll make their decision based on what health officials and the government is saying. Yeah, if you're a State Fair enthusiast, though, I think you should start to uh, maybe get in your mind that it won't look the same as in previous years. I mean, I think it would be almost irresponsible to have that many people in one place at one time, but we'll have to see what the officials say about that. Thanks for sharing, Alicia. Hey, Sven, let's go over to you with our One Thing Weather. Yeah, grab an umbrella if you are headed out. We are going to have rain on and off for the day today. It's going to be cool, wet, windy, a little lightning and thunder even in some of this further south, but uh, mostly just plain old rain here in the metro area developing. Uh, but a break this evening should bring some dry weather if you want to get in that outdoor walk later. And red sky and morning, sailors warning. Isn't that what they say, Sven? Yeah, the rain's coming, but uh, beautiful sunrise along 494-35W. One reported crash along 94 is old fender bender just south of Minneapolis. Use it or lose it. You've probably heard that a few times when referring to your physical health. The same can be said for your car, especially during a pandemic. A lot of our cars are just sitting there collecting pollen, bird droppings and tree sap, which isn't great for your paint. But there could be worse things happening. Your tire pressure is dropping, your battery is slowly being drained, and your brakes are getting rusty. Your calipers and your rotors are steel, so they're going to rust just sitting there. First thing people notice when they get in and they go to move, a grinding noise. Now the noise is normal. That thin layer of rust on your brakes wears off with a few stops. The bigger issue is getting your car to start. Older batteries can leak charge. To keep your battery from dying, take your ride for a ride. Short drives around town aren't going to charge it as well as a 20-minute you know, highway drive. Lastly, that funky car smell. That's probably coming from mold growth in your air filters. Those should be changed at least once a year. But there's nothing stopping you from doing it a little more often. There you go. Now you know where that funky smell's coming from. Ew, Ooh, I know. Wee. Hmm, all right, thanks for all those tips, Chris. My pleasure. States across the nation are loosening coronavirus restrictions, but is it too soon? A deep dive into what restrictions are lifting and what our sunrisers think. Then not all immunities are created equal. What we're learning about our chances to get coronavirus twice. Plus, technology workers are in demand right now as most of the world goes digital. How you could take classes to be an IT worker for free. But first, Workers Memorial Day, April 28th, was created to recognize workers who died or suffered from exposures to hazards at work. Well, this year, we've lost a lot of great people to COVID-19, doctors, teachers, grocery store workers. So let us take this moment to honor their memory and hold our loved ones even closer in our hearts.